Hey everybody, Dean of Computer Peeps here. Today's video is about PCI compliance. Uh, this is going to be a general overview because there are a lot of details when it comes to PCI compliance. PCI compliance, what is it? PCI stands for the Payment Card Industry. Essentially the banks and credit card companies, they've come together and formed a sort of consortium that essentially says, hey, if you're going to process credit cards at your business, um, here are a set of rules that you need to adhere to uh, to ensure credit card data is secure when it's on your computers, on your network, etc. The payment card industry has put forth something called the PCI DSS, the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard. This is the manual or guide. It's about 75 to 100 pages long. Uh, it's a PDF you can download. I'll include a link to the current version below. But the PCI DSS outlines essentially the requirements, both technical and non-technical requirements, um, that you as a business that process credit cards has to adhere to. It's everything from do you have antivirus installed in your computers that cannot be disabled by employees, is password protected and stores a year of log files, um, to non-technical requirements, things like have you trained and made employees aware of credit card fraud, um, can they identify if the pin pad has been tampered with or has a skimmer installed on it. So again, the PCI DSS is your manual of sorts. It says, here you go, here are the actual requirements to become PCI compliant and maintain PCI compliance. Something else outlined is you have to complete an annual questionnaire as well as have a quarterly scan of your building, a firewall scan essentially, done by what's called an approved scanning vendor, an ASV. Um, this is how most consignment stores come to us. They're given this questionnaire that they have to complete annually and it's about 200 questions long and they don't know how to answer it. They're looking at some of these questions going, I, I don't know what what's going on here. Um, so again, your ASV says, here you go. Here are these 200 or so questions that say, have you done everything that's outlined in the PCI DSS? Yes, I have. And then you sign your name and attest and say, yes, I'm guaranteeing that I have done all these things outlined in the PCI DSS. And then they also perform a quarterly scan of your firewall to see if you have a firewall in place, to see if any ports are open, if any ports are open, if they expose any vulnerabilities like security cameras, that sort of thing. Um, so again, you've got PCI, the payment card industry. They put forth the PCI DSS, the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, essentially just a manual, about 75 to 100 pages long, of the things you're required to do in order to properly secure your systems and to train your employees. And then finally, you have an approved scanning vendor, an ASV, and they're the ones that give you the annual questionnaire, as well as the quarterly scan to make sure you do have a firewall in place, that there are no vulnerabilities uh, in your firewall. So again, this is a really simple overview. There are a lot of things when it comes to the technical details on how to become PCI compliant as well as to maintain PCI compliance because there isn't one thing you just do and go, there we go, we're PCI compliant. It's kind of an ongoing thing. Um, so hopefully this video kind of simplifies things and at least starts to get the conversation going on what PCI compliance is. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below. Um, if you have any other videos you'd like to see us do, feel free to comment below and go ahead and click the subscribe button and the little alert bell so you can be notified of any new videos that we upload. Thanks for watching.